Whoops. We're five minutes late. Sorry, you guys. But we're here. How are y'all? We are awesome. It is a rainy, rainy day here in the Dallas. I would show you, but... I mean, it's not raining right now. Um, I'm Erica. This is Artist Till Death. That's, that was Jeff and our esteemed mascot, one of, is this little guy. His name is Bowie. So, we go live every day. It's usually resin or something to do with resin. Always to do with art. Usually it's at 6 p.m. Central, except for Tuesdays, it's 2 p.m. So if you want to join us any of the days that we go live, those are our times-ish. If we don't go live during those times, I usually post about it in ATDs for people on Facebook so you guys know what goes on. Today, I'm going to try to create an underwater texture pattern. So let me show you what I'm talking about that I'm trying to do. And all of that ruckus you hear in the background, that is our American cutter. Cutting out a stencil. In theory, should be awesome. We've been like going back and forth with like how do you keep help you when you get down? How do you keep some of the lines white, like the top line white? But Jeff, I don't know how he did it. I do know how he did it because I saw him do the test piece. But if you asked me to explain why it worked, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Maybe you guys can figure it out by the end of this. Thank you guys, thank you. Hi, hello, how are you? Um, if you're new, what's up? Please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, just check and make sure because YouTube likes to unsub people because they get bored. Um, and let's get this party started. <laughs> It's the best thing song. So, uh, Jeff was kind enough to uh, cut me a this. See, this is why it's, it should work. Because they're all stuck to this border. Okay. Ooh. So I need to cut down this. Just the right line. down the, Don't don't do the line, but do in the in the middle of the two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Sweet. <laughs> That's just a little small. <laughs> a little bit too small but you see where I'm going with this is this okay Try, um, Let's just put it down and then cut the that off. Or no? No, because then you won't be able to pick it up. These pieces will be loose here. Okay. Well, you just try it smaller. Yeah, like on. Um, I 
Let me just paint this white. Because you can't make me a bigger one. Well, I can. I just... I would just have to make that edge a little bit... Well, no, I could. I would just need to... Yeah, like I said, the edge would just have to be smaller because this stuff isn't that. This is just a test to see if it's going to work. So if you just talk to the people about what what it is that you're, you cut and all that, I'll prep this for you. Put this back down on top of this. Okay, we just cut out these. What's up, everybody? What's happening? I was on my way to a Funko Pop store. Thank you for watching our videos. How's everybody's Tuesday? So she's painting a uh, smaller disc luckily it takes where it does out zero time to dry it's gonna be so cool if it works top of this one all right so now we have another one here that I cut just try not to get it stuck to itself not the shadow it's just unless you want it to be the shadow do you want it to align with it I don't really you can just turn it because it's it's too small you wouldn't be able to offset it what are you doing Cujo's huffing and I, I don't want him to start coughing Cujo's huffing because he needs a treat right this second that dog is so spoiled not even funny. Like it's, like it's, it's cute and now it's not funny. Alright, so what do you... I brought you the color. Alright, so we want to spray... You did the light the... and then the dark, right? No, you do the dark first and then you do you put the this... lighter one second. So 
So what's going to happen is basically she wants this white to stay white underneath the stencil. This is spray paint, and it's spray paint dries like graffiti paint dries pretty fast. They, they, they do that. All right, so do you want it to be? I don't even know which way this is gonna go. Just turn it. I don't care if it looks like a shadow. Do you want me to hold part of it? Do you want me to put it a whole completely different way, or you want it to be? The shadow. Well, we're not exactly. This is just a test. This is. Yeah, this is it right here, except for that one. This works is going to be super cool. Day two of vacation, I'm laying in bed trying to make sure I have energy for our ghost walk later. That's excited. Clara says they did a test, so we don't have to. You know, you hear it in your head. You know, you do. What's up, Shane? I guess it doesn't Clara? have to go like perfect, right? No, mm -hmm. you could even just turn it to diamond. I mean like how it lays down because it's not flat, so it's like making it curl, you know? That's why it's not laying flat like this. You see? Because it needs to... If, it, if this was just flat all the way, these little corners wouldn't be popping up like this. And it's driving me insane. <clears throat> Try to... See what I mean? Like it's not it's not gonna it's lay just flat. Test. Yeah, that looks good. And even if it does come up, it's still I think it'll still be fun. Yeah. That sugar, that it's oh, not no. a lot of pain. Granted, if I thought about this, you know, enough, I would have had, you know, 
I literally went to Jeff. What time is it? Two twenty. At one fifty, and was like, "Can you come me a stencil? Thanks." Does not like it when I do that, and I didn't mean to do it on purpose. So. that down. I just need to make sure this is fully dry. back to wow I think you're watching from a hot tub that's super fun so I think this worked out as a test concept really well I'm going to be asking Jeff to cut me another one that's bigger so I can cover the whole bit and then I will put resin on it and maybe even do a resin texture What do you guys think? I would go ahead and resin this one, but this frame is not uh, super cute. So I'm so excited about that. Could be used for chain link, yes. Brayer? We have a brayer somewhere. Oh, it's right there. Found it. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to do resin on this one like I initially thought I would. Does that look like bottom of the ocean or bottom of a pool maybe? If I just go like this, you squint your eyes. <laughs> Cover it with epoxy design. Do you mean do a wave over it? Thank you, Tia. Um, so yeah. Just imagine, imagine it without the frame. Blend out of the white spots with blue spray paint, then resin. Y'all just want to keep me with you all day, which is fine. Um, quick blend out. Just try not to ruin it. Caleb, just drive safe. <laughs> Cannot come up here, Bowie. That was spray paint. I can do. Looks like a keyhole of bottom of the pool. Yeah? Cool. 
Alright, while this is drying, I'm going to mix some resin. Ugh. I need to tighten my that. Black the outside around to wake to take up those spots. What's up, TG? So this is a 10 inch round cradle board. So it's probably only gonna take four ounces or less. It's not even gonna take four ounces. It's probably gonna take three ounces. So, what are you guys doing on this beautiful Tuesday? Looks like a pool liner, but a fancy pool liner. This is just a test piece. I'm gonna cut some that are more like fine, has more of the little bubbly holes and is a little bit more intricate. Okay. But I wanted to make sure that I could figure out how to make it look like I want it to before I cut a bigger one. And you guys know I always do live tests. So if this does work, which it looks like it did and will, I'll be cutting more and better stencils. And if it super works and you guys like it, then I'll add it to the shop. TG, let me know how it goes. My stick's too small for this size cup. You guys, I took the time to fix my hair for you today, and then I walked the boys, and it went, it made that sound, and then got all frizzy. TJ, you've been working on that house for like, what feels like 20 years. I bet it's gonna look superb when you're done with it. I have no doubt. I need a better mixy, but, oh, there we go. That's more better. Yeah, it's super humid here too. I'll probably mix in a little bit of Milky Way. Should I do um, a texture on top of this or just flood it? What do you guys think? So sweet of you, TG. Sounds great, Emma. Have an awesome day. Give your precious little chunk hugs for us. Jeff's been waiting to go to a Funko Pop store till it stopped raining and he just left. And I think it's about to start raining again. Do something. Melissa, I got your email, but we deleted the comment so that you don't get random messages, but I will send you an email. Lovely Houston weather. Pimp it out. It's just a test. That's true. 
gonna grab some aluminum foil and we'll get this going. it blue or let it be clear like slight hint of blue very well said thank you for the clarification we delete all personal email addresses and phone numbers etc in the chat for your safety Bondi can do. Just a hint, just like a tad bit of flavor. Flavor. That's what flavor looks like. It's amazing how just a little bit of it can this is more accurate, but it's got a little bit more of an aqua turquoise -y hue to it. Oh, you guys, I just got a case of Just Resin. I got three cases in today, so I'll be updating the inventory. So keep an eye out for your emails. The Milky Way stays buoyant, so it's just going to be floating around it will neither sink nor float it's pretty good about staying where you put it just a couple little specks of flavor you've made me love that color it's easy to love this color it just melts in super easy so now we have just a little bit of sparkle with a little bit of color. Stay suspended. See, Clara knows all the words. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna use this tin foil to create a top texture. But in order for me to do that, I have to create a texture. In it so that's why I pre crinkle it I don't want any air pockets so I'm trying to semi flatten it out before I lay it down so that I don't just push out the resin. We'll see how it goes. Ready? Me too. So this took two ounces. But the tint really helped to conceal that fade I had to add because of the edges. Melissa, I don't know that I have gotten your emails, but I will double check. So I'm just gonna pop the bubbles. I'm using Stone Coat today.
Ideally, we'll have no bubbles. And I'm not pushing out too much of the resin. I'm just using my nails to push it down so that it's got more contact, but it's not like smushing the center of this Oreo out. I don't want to lose the cream filling. Not after dark. This is gonna look amazing. Do you guys remember those shirts that were like this big, but you could stretch them and it'd be regular human size shirt? This is, that, that's what this reminds me of, this texture. Looks like I didn't lose too much out of the sides. I Man, that sounds like it would look awesome. Okay, okay. I'm gonna take this to the dust-free zone because I don't want any dust to get in it. <laughs> JK, uh, I'll be right back. extra what are we gonna do maybe a mold no not a mold Let's cover this thing in resin for Jeff so that he can put one of his Pokemons on it. I'm gonna go ahead and tape this little bit off. Okay, it's not your turn yet. Lay down, big boy. He just ran up and checked me like he knows me or something. No. Go lay down. I know. Just go lay down. You're a good boy. He ran over here like he was going to tattle on somebody. Moose, just lay down. I'm going to make it a little bit more blue. I know. Lay down. Hey, Vamp. I'm gonna add more sparkle. In fact, I'll probably add some actual glitter. Because he likes them super sparkly. Hopefully he will love it, and he'll use it for one of his thingies. All right, we do have a fire sale. Um, I can see all the comments. I bet he loves this and asks me how I did it. 
I'm going to tell him to watch the video if he has any questions. Load the pod vamp. TG, you can come down here if you just need to get away, get out of the house. Let's put some swirl in it. If you do a design like this and you do it kind of later in the setting process, so if I would have done this using art code so if I did this 45 minutes from now it would probably stay but since it's super fluid it'll probably just melt back to where I swooped it from because it's gonna self level if you wait longer when the resins a little bit more set up and then do that uh, the mica fragments are more likely to stay where you put them don't start Especially since I've got to heat this up. Thank you, man. Ooh. If you do a design like this, use minimal heat. Take this over the DFZ, which we're going to redo that, by the way. We are planning on doing um, a dust free zone 2.0, but Jeff's got that pokey thing coming up, so we're not doing anything until he gets that out of the way. Cujo, be not. He is not okay with not being the center of attention right now. We'll have an easy cleanup. a bird in the house anyways pokey thing is two and a half weeks maybe um so yeah hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something or we're just entertained for 45 minutes and i hope you have an amazing today Keep your eye on the on your email because I'm going to be sending you guys out notices of what's back in stock. And yeah, check out our website, artistlove.com. It's here somewhere. And we will see you guys tomorrow at a regular time, 6 p.m. Central. I hope you have an awesome day. Be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. And always remember, we do the test so you don't have to. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Moose said bye. Dang you, Moose.
Are you just as spoiled? Are you spoiled? I know.